My family's much like anybody else's. Mm -hmm. There's half of them that you love and respect, and then there's the other half. Which half am I meeting? Well, there's my cousin Alistair, based in Taiwan, works in movies. He's dating Kitty Pong, an actress. Kitty. <laughs> I can feel all of you, and all of me. That's a little bit of a lie. Can you get rid of it? What about your cousin Eddie? You don't ever talk about him? Well, Eddie's a big finance guy in Hong Kong. A real family man. You know, if it moved, it would look more natural. No, this way you get our optimal angles. Ah, then we're done. Russell, thank you so much. It's an honor to be photographed by you. My pleasure. People will love it in the next Hong Kong Vogue. Thank you, Russell. Hong Kong Vogue? I knew it. Your dress is a disaster. If you want a Bottega gown like I told you to, we'd be in the American Vogue. You can wear that gown to hell, Eddie. Then there's Astrid. I remember Astrid. She's like who I want to be when I grow up. Astrid is awesome, and she's probably the only one I'm actually close with. And she's really grounded and down to earth once you get to know her. Not only did she graduate top of her class at Oxford, start multiple charities, and is a fashion icon, Astrid has the biggest heart of any of my cousins. What's your name? Lira. Who's this? Bun Bun. Well, I think Bun Bun looks very dashing with his bow. You have a good eye. Thank you. Miss Leon, right this way. It's very nice to meet you both. These are all brand new from Antwerp. You're the first person I've shown them to. What are those? Those? Those are very special. Burmese pearl drop earrings, set with emeralds and rare pigeon blood red rubies. They were worn by Queen Subiella at her self-anointed coronation in 1878. How much? Having you wear one of my pieces is better publicity than I can buy. I'll let them go at cost. 1.2 million. 